Hello, hello, hello. This is your man, Nicholas Shepard from the Shepard Family Enterprise, Business Administration, and Information System Consultants. And what I'm here to do is we are going back over our document, okay, and how we are going about um, designing our um, audit, all right, for our projects, okay. So, um what I have done and we I'm gonna look at my project um my, you know my my project log and here um make sure I delete some of this stuff out because I had to and happy uh Easter Monday, okay, and those of you who celebrated Easter, um hopefully your Easter was filled with love and joy and you got a lot of stuff done okay so um now I have opened up these uh, tables okay and the tables I created and these tables basically they don't have anything in them but they will need to be referenced when we are looking at um, whether or not we're going to be um, setting new budget levels for uh, a project. Okay, so um, but the tables, okay, that I really want to focus on is basically uh, go down. Okay, the table I want to be focusing on um, to make these uh, predictions and whether or not we will work with that client, um, it would be, one of the tables would be um, the explanation of costs, okay? So, um, I'm going to open up that table. I don't have it actually pulled up now but we're going to look at it and and those of you who are just joining us uh, I've asked you to go back to our previous um, series uh, video so that you can see exactly um, what we're doing and how we come to this um, portion of our project management database build okay so anyway um, looking at this we're looking at um, a table where it has explanation of costs right and in the explanation of costs table all right even though we may not pull all of this data I want to create a field or a table or populate a table that's showing me within the database and I'm going to go to the database itself and this is the audit portion of the database okay and when I click the button to pull this up okay I want to be able to look at this and make a determination whether or not we have uh, factored in the fact that there are enough resources to work on this this particular project um, what type of funding is available so that we can extend the project in a, in, as a new project set and um, whether or not we have to hire okay um, more uh, uh, analysts okay so um, and then when I push this estimated a cost button I wanted to generate some factors alright so the factors would be based on a lot of different things which I haven't really done at this particular time and the only thing it would do is it would allow me to determine 
over a series of observation on our analysts, excuse me, uh, um, uh, analytic uh, uh, ideals, okay, that if we do these steps in subsequent sequence of what we already have going on over a period of time we can still be on budget and be done with the project on time okay so um, that has to be a factor another factor would have to be like I said you have team member assignment ID alright so in this right here um, also in this when I pull this down it would also allow me to know exactly who's working on the project okay so um, if there are now we have team member okay uh, assignment ID and that's individual uh, um, project um, uh, managers or assistants or whoever they may be assigned to work with us on this project their ID would be here and then from there um, we can look at exactly what's going on okay um, so I can look at this this is right here is the owner and everything like that and if I wanted to figure out okay who is this person I can go down into the historical records base and then pretty much track who the person I really don't need to know who the person is I just need to know under this uh, ID which I can always you know write the ID down and go back and find out who the person is whether or not um, they are needed or if we can use that person on another subsequent project okay you know um, I know for a fact as far as my experience there are some um, personnel that's working on projects sometimes they have a little um, excess time okay in between tasks so that means that if a person is assigned a task and let's say that there are some project management a project managers working out some more details about something so they tell the person okay well go back to what you was doing before and then when I need you um, I will reach back out to you okay now and then that uh, analyst or uh, that team member will go back to what they're doing um, but their their supervisor all right will not like lock them in to any task because if we need them need that person they have to let that person go so they can work on whatever they're doing if it's not impeding with their what they have started we really try to convince our um, we, we really try to convince our business analysts and stuff like that or our technical analysts to um, you know not get too involved in the things that's going to take a long period of time so if they are tasked to do some outside of the initial project they're working on or let's say they working on a project and this is a subsequent project and let's say they working on two projects so three it depends on who that project uh, managing person is some people can work at work with three projects at one time you know and simultaneously um, close out one do the deliverables and then get the sign offs and in that project while still working on the other two okay um, that is the goal some it depends on how seasoned that project man that project person is and work with multiple tests um, but that right there has to be uh, observed over time okay so just like this project right here okay that we working on now um, under this project manager database uh, and, and mind you these the things that I'm showing you is just an ideal okay um, I use this within our company um, this right here is just one of our demo um, uh, extended 
uh, uh, versions of uh, database and what we're doing what I'm doing is basically is come up with a different ideal on how we can service our customers better okay so um, and I'm allowing you to join us as we do this okay so once I get to a certain point and you see that um, this particular setup you can basically do and that's why I don't put too much into it because each customer or client may want different results so I may have to make some modifications to the table structure and how the data is pulled in um, I might have to add a new form or anything like that but I want the general structure of the database to be working to a point where we can bring in a customer service a customer assign people to the project monitor the project um, modify the budget decrease the budget increase the decrease the budget increase the budget or um, close out the project okay for whatever reason okay so those are the things that this particular module have to be you know um, it has to be something that we can work on right now okay so if we assign one of our um, let's say if we assign one of our consultants out to work uh, with a, a new company or a new project out um, for a company that's uh, inquiring about us assisting in any way uh, based on their skill set this is the project management database that we will be using to monitor project okay what we're doing for that client okay now the client may have their own project management tool but that's fine okay I have as a business consultant I have worked with different companies um, and even though they had their own uh, uh, project management tools I still kept documentation of what I was doing okay and by doing that I can always trace back or go back what I've done and I found out from experience if you do not do this okay if you don't do this while you work on a project okay from day one you write down okay this is what I'm doing you, you, you know have a document that you uh, tasking yourself what needs to be done how it was done um, uh, if there was problems you you know write out the problems anything like that something you can track and you have to break your document down in subsequent order whereas that you can just look for whatever issues they may may have been if they come up with a date okay because usually when you make modifications to someone's database they have a, a date stamp when those changes um, took place and then you can look at um, your um, document based on that date and then you can track exactly what you did okay and um, it would give you a clear understanding if there was something that was overlooked okay so I'm um, going back to the database um, the first thing that I need to do is I need to come up with an ideal okay that would allow me to pull in certain factors okay of these different tables alright so that when the accounting manager look at this and say okay well where is this going um, they better look at all the costs they better look at the project itself not that they care but they most um, what they call them uh, uh, deliverables officer okay whenever the deliverable the deliverables um, manager look at the, the details of a project and find out is we you know well we over budget under budget you know, are we on track excuse me anything like that they can contact the project
project manager and say, listen, okay, well, I see what you're doing. Uh, what's taking you so long to get this done? What's taking you so long to get that done? They will give you an idea, um, you know, what needs to be done and when it to be closed out because of the budget. You can say, well, you're over budget right now, okay, and, or you're under budget, okay. So those factors would need to be verified, okay, from week to week and as you get closer to the um, end of the project phase. Uh, like I say, we have four phases. Fifth phase is extended uh, project. And then we have eight tasks, uh, you know, that are associated with each phase. Okay, you know, and they break down and they broke down based on it could be weeks, it could be days or months. Okay, um, any long term projects that was like a, a, a year or more, then that goes on a different category, but it will still be done within our database. Okay, so, um, now, so what I need to do at this particular time, okay, I need to go through a couple of things um, I'm not going to do it while um, this is up and running but what I do want to do is um, I'm going to pause this out and I'm going to look and see exactly what I need to do and then also I will have to put those steps inside of my workflow see so first thing I got to do I got to put it in my workflow document first I gotta flow it out. Now this this has already it has already been um written out, okay, or a general description of what needs to be done. I haven't I haven't done a process document like uh the ones you see here, okay? I haven't done a process document yet for this step because I wanna make sure when I start writing up the process document the steps that I put into my process document is working okay um, and that is very important okay so uh, you flow it out take notes and then you can actually have a process document where you start writing down the fundamentals or the idea of steps to need to take place in order to get done and then you start modifying it as you start correcting different scenarios um, or you can go ahead and flow it out and then write up the process document and then as you start testing your product you start modifying the document based on um, successful tests okay all right so again I'm gonna put this on pause and I'm gonna come back with uh, the next view of what I have accomplished okay so what I have noticed I was looking at my project database and I was looking at a couple of fields I'm still trying to put together um, some logic so that I can figure out exactly what exactly I want to see based on um, my test data when I first started an account okay so some of those things I see some of the things I don't but um, I'm at to pull in another table that I have not been um, looking at and I, th it, I think it's on the uh, project level let me go back down and see hold on for a minute let me see project so we get a um, temp table project build listing a request listing intro so what I'm going to do the project intro table basically has um, the projects that actually uh, made it through the initial process of, uh, of us working on something so um, and this is where um, after the had been evaluated by the county and everything like that but I was working backwards okay so um, 
I was looking at these because I'm quite sure some of the other tables have other um, look at them have other um, information like like so here it says project uh, extended phases uh, oh that's phase 5 so I'm not even worried about that old thing that's phase 5 so um but that I don't think this right here have like I can create something with this, but that's later on down the line. I don't even want to uh go into that. I I just want to make sure that the information that I have um as far as the project um, the you know concerning the project in place is set up okay so and like I say I got this project work conditions uh, let's see oh, first quarter factory conditions okay so I I started that but I haven't even actually. Uh, initiated that yet so approve project sets um, so So just approve project sets. These are the sets, and I think I was just looking at this possibly. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, these are approved project sets. So these things I'm about to look at, okay? Because a lot of these things that I have in here, um, basically. Um, evidently some of the stuff is um, have not even been implemented it was something that uh, I did as far as the initial phase but I never really these projects never got funded so but still I still need to bring these things in as, as test data okay so uh, project number tracked and um, I need to bring these into my evaluation as far as uh, you know how they would be displayed if that makes sense okay um, or else I just need to close them out okay find a way I just I close them out and then create a query based on that okay so since I close them out but all this is test data okay you know but I want to clean it up through a series of uh, updates okay so that uh, when I start doing initial testing the results that I want is generated okay now once I do that I can create a report where is that I can say okay um, this is what I want to present to the team okay like that uh, but other than that um, everything else that I have as far as the form sets um, how I'll go about introducing everything and uh, bringing everything to the team's attention all that's already designed I don't have to go back over that the whole thing is just um, amplifying the fact that once a project has been initiated and we are working on the project and now we're trying to consider what direction you want to go that is where I am right now okay so I don't want to veer off too far to the left or right of that objective um, these are things I probably what I just went through these are things that I probably have to look at as far as um, consolidating some of the things and uh, you know cleaning up the tables to make sure that uh, those records are closed out but all that was just test data 
okay so I can actually clean a lot of that stuff up but uh, once I start initiating as far as building test scenarios to see if something works and make sure that everything is being monitored by accounting and that decisions are made based on the volume and costs okay that is it and that's when I go to the fight the factoring process everything like this you know um, which I was working for with another young lady on that um, she wanted something done but I was working with some um, some of my uh, previous co-workers um, which was in that that are uh, you know got the degrees in business accounting and everything like that um, what she was trying to do was just too com it wasn't complicated but it was just it would take more time than I was willing to spend with me trying to get it to work okay and they have their regular job to do okay so and then I wasn't paying them I was just trying to get some type of guidance on it and like I say they really didn't have time so uh, I probably have to look up some different things do some scenarios and then what I'm going to want to do I want to pull in some uh, people once I get enough of subscribers and you know I'm gonna start doing some um, live videos I'm gonna have to set up a time a day of uh, doing uh, you know early part of the day knowing that people will come on and try to give me some advice and I know they're gonna go to the left or the right so like that you know far right far left to what I'm doing um, but the scope I want I want the scope to remain intact okay and I may go with the idea. I may mean, I may go with some of the things they're talking about, but I don't want this to be accounting software. All right, you know, I want this to be a project software database. Okay, and accounting part, that's something totally different. Because when you start talking accountants or that, you start, you know, or that rings a bell, and you know, bells start whistling. Now they're trying to design your stuff based on a group of. Uh, um, accounting requirements okay in order to uh, budget and, and see that is something I'm not working on right now all I'm trying to do right now is work on something that I can say okay I get a customer or a client and I set a budget okay or they set a budget I work with them for whatever time period I have to work on it based on what they're willing to pay me you know per week per month whatever and then at that particular time I have an open and close you know date that I will have to end the project and um, close it out okay so it had to be completed that's basically what the end result would have to be okay so okay um, again um, I would like to thank you very much for um, coming aboard and as I get more updates I will uh, make other videos as time permits and I will introduce you to what I have come up with to this point okay and if you have any and if you have any solutions okay put it in the comments section all right down below um, you know my email address you can email me or you I really recommend that you go into my business blog site okay go into my business blog site and um, put your questions and everything like that like I said I can always lock a topic down based on uh, what we're talking about so that uh, only the group of people who are authorized to go into that topic can actually do the Q&A all right okay or we can do like a Skype session you know to make things work a little better alright okay again thank you very much and I'll see you next time okay so basically what we're going to be doing today I'm going to be going over a couple of things on uh, and um, what we're going to be doing I'm going to be going over um, what we previously discussed and what we were um, talking
talking about is basically listed under our project tasks. Um, so we have decided that we may have to have a new form, okay, to create uh, a new form need to be created, okay, so that we can um, look at possible solutions for project funding. All right. So um, we was looking at these tables right here. I think these tables are basically empty. But the main table, one of the main tables that we're going to have to pull from will most definitely be from the explanation of cost worksheet. All right, so this table will be giving us some type of factors um, what we need to be looking at based on the current cost. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this table up. And I'm gonna take a we're gonna take a look at it and see exactly what's in that. Now, mind you, this is only um, um, test data. Okay. Now, um, here what we're looking at, I'm trying to determine um, what data I need. Okay. So uh, I am assuming, okay, that if I am looking at this database okay or if I'm looking at this form let's pull the form first okay so we're gonna look at this form and we're gonna assume that um, the client all right um, that we're pretty much researching um, we want to do an extended uh, step all right so what I want to do is I want to create a form that I can say, okay, review record details of this particular record, all right? And what I wanted to do is I wanted to show me I still pulling all that back. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Okay, I wanted to show me um these records here. So I'm about to put this back to design view, form view, design view, so we can look at it. So, um, uh, this is the intro. And we may need to pull this information as well. Okay, so, but I'm just you know, I'm just looking through it right now to find out, you know, exactly <clears throat> what we may need, all right? Because that information is going to have to go into, um, go back to the table, not these tables, because that's basically the end result of what we're looking for. You have the billing details. You don't need the billing details at all. Good explanation of costs. All right, so we're going to look at this here and some of this data that we're going to be using to identify whether or not this client is, and like I said, we want to know what phase the customer ends and everything like that. Now, what I can do is. I can run a query, okay, and all it's going to do is going to, it's not going to update this table, right, all it's going to do is going to pull this record, that one record, okay, into, this table okay so I'm gonna run a test so I'm gonna do a create query so I'm gonna create a query design query all right and it's gonna ask me what do I want okay what table I want okay so it's two tables that I want one first one 
first one, of course, is going to be this one, right? Exponential cost. Okay, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, appending it, right, to this table. So exponent, okay, uh, exponential cost is going to be uh, this table here. So I'm going to say master ACC ACC T and G okay and it's project audit make sure I'm getting on project audit make sure it's the same thing okay and I'm bringing it here alright so I really don't need this Okay, but I will need it for certain things. Because what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing it in a pan. Right? So, what it is is that um, I'm going to need, I'm going to append it to this table. So, I'm going to do an append to this table from this table. Right? Because this table is what we do in the audit. Right? Okay? So, when we pull this table back, we're just going to review this information now. I want to make sure I do this very carefully because my fact that you know how we're going to go about looking at this information is based on the, you know the the requirements okay so we got to look at okay what is the requirements the requirements is number one um, it has to be the record that's in focus all right so um, what I'm going to do is I am going to um, say when I pull my initial pull right and that means that when I look at what the form is this form here okay when I no that's not the form that's the form okay when I look at this form here and I make sure I'm grabbing the right table too man tracking project in here so we only need the data that we're tracking right so do do do, do. so this two project tracking 22 um, get rid of this um, so get the estimation of costs table I'm going to be doing an update this so I can pretty much take this table out. So I'm going to go ahead and take this table out because I don't need it. Okay, so these are these two tables have data in it. So what I'm going to do is I get the explanation of costs, right? <coughs> and tracking project, because that's where we pull in the data from this table when we run our query, right? And we're going to make sure. Um, 
both of these IDs. So I'm going to look at this table. And um, ID here. And the other ID is in. Another ID. The other ID is in explanation of costs. So we gotta make sure one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Maybe. But I think it is. Alright. So we're gonna link the ID, both IDs. So this ID and this ID. So, now mind you, all right, in this form, we got to make sure, and I'm just double checking. And I'm going to pull back everything. I, I'm not going to use everything. I'm just going to pull back everything just to see how it looks, how the data look. Okay, because the first thing we want to do, we want to find out exactly, um, we want to find out um, whether or not this pool, this query pool, is what we're looking for. Okay, so. All right, so. Um, it's going to pull back this data. So what it is is that um, once it pulls back this data, okay, and I'm going to go back to the form itself, right? Because this is a form that's actually going to pull back the information. All right. Now this form is associated with um, this table, right? Okay, so. Um, it's going to pull back this this data. All right, so let me see. Let me run. Let me open this table here. Okay. And before I do that, let me look at the. So I'm going to pull back this record here. Okay, so I'm going to go and open up this form. It says the project number, but let me see. What is it? Customer number, customer count. So I'm going to put the customer count and I'm going to run it back. Okay, so it shows in this. So what I want to do is I want the other information to be ran down here. So I'm going to go back, put this in design view, and I know based on what I've already seen. Okay, what I want to see. Okay, so um, I want to. Okay, let me look at this again, because you know I don't want redundant information at the bottom if it's not necessary. So
Okay, so I know in this form here, it's going to show some information, right? I know this. But there's some additional information I want to see. And the information I want to see is not coming from this table, it's coming from um, the explanation the explanation of cost, right? Okay, it's coming from this table. Okay, it's coming from the explanation of cost. So um so I'm gonna have to um ba 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 even though that table says I am going to have to make sure when I run this query and I'm going to see now because this query had to be associated with that form okay and but I can still pull both if you understand I can still put I just want this form had to be associated with that okay so I'm going to say because this is the project and this is what it's pulling up based on what we see okay um, this control form right which is cool right but I'm looking at it and it's not giving me all the information that I want right now the thing is that I have to also take in consideration it's showing me this okay but what I want to do is <coughs> if I, I want to see the record details <coughs> And I want to make sure the details that I see is the details that I need to, um, you know, make a rationalized decision. Okay, so that means that if I'm looking at this tape, I'm looking at information. Okay, um, first of all, I want to find out. Okay, are these fields being viewed? All right. Okay, so I want to know project account. Created. When was this project account created? All right, so I'm gonna go back to the form. I think it's back this way. Okay, and I want to see is the project account created. So I got the start date. Okay, so I want to see project account. Created, project count created, and it doesn't have that field. Let's see, project count, project account created. Okay. So the thing is, whether or not I want to, you know, um, see the details on here. All right. So I can look at this and. I can say okay. Um, I want to be able to push this button, and and I can leave this right. I, let's say that I want to start. I want to open another. Um, I want to open another document. Okay. When I look at this right here, and I see that this is the record I want based on the query, and also I got to make sure this button is doing what it's supposed to do. Okay. So um, data. That's cool. All right. So, um, so when I click this record, okay, I want to make sure that the form that it opens up has the data that I need. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a form and I'm going to they have to name it form some like audit record whatever um, form something like that so form format I want to create a form uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I have a tab control, something like that. No, no, I'm just navigate. 
بهش This is a subform. Okay, so um, okay, I probably can do this. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna create a subform, right? So I'm gonna put it at uh, what's going on here. Okay, let's say I'm gonna put it right here, subform. So I'm gonna create what's this? Let's say what's this? This is um subform, sub report, or whatever. Okay. So if I save you record details, I'm gonna put this here. Okay, so next, use this in terms of queries. I gotta figure out what query I want to use. Okay, so um, I haven't designed a query yet, so I'm gonna say cancel. Right. All right. So um, I'm gonna name this query. see if that works so I'm gonna go back to here right? and it says on enter um, data so for the object okay let me do this first. Let me delete this. Okay. And let me bring this down again. So form. We, I want to do this. Alright. I'm going to click it. And put this here. Say next.
I don't need all this information, okay? So, um, I do want the ID. I uh, do want this information. Okay, this, 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 and this. Okay, we'll start it like that. phase right now because that could be dependent on something totally different we don't need to know all of that we can pull that information from something else it's so all the way down and um, we can say create date right we can look at create date update date and update it by all right so we're gonna say next from the list <coughs> which fields link your main form to this thing. Okay, so um, Okay, so let's just go with that. Choose from the list. Would you like to link would you like to define which fields yeah. so this will say um, choose from this um, all of these are the same Let's do this. Alright, so next. So for I'm ready to say finish. Alright, see what happens. Alright, we're just gonna see what happens. So put this here. I'm gonna save it. Alright. I'm going to bring this out. Alright, so save it and let me run it and see what happens. Okay, so let's look at the form view. Alright, so um da, 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 da. so if I say run this uh what as an account number um I wanna make sure that this record is the same record. Design view, because evidently it's too much going on. So, okay, so, uh, la 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 la, it's showing that, but it's not showing all the records, and that's not no good. Okay, so, footer, go down. Um, Save. 
So we know. That one's supposed to happen. Uh, full view. Why this? Why is it on? Not view. So why is it? Did I pull some up? Did I pull some? I didn't know. I don't know. I didn't pull that up. So why is it doing that? Um. Okay. So this record details. space here man which is not good so I gotta find out I gotta, I gotta take that out and I think I know how where where is that so it's down here it's all this okay bring this up some more right. this or this blank space here which we shouldn't have bring all this up So all I gotta do basically is uh, stretch this out, right? Okay, and lock it in, because um, it's not really, you know. Okay, so um, okay, so it's a view record details. So if I look at this. So I look at this. Okay, so it's one one one. Uh, this is one one project sequence. Um, search is showing this. What else is it showing? Okay, uh, here. Cause I want to make sure everything I'm saying is what I need. All right, so. Start days at twelve. Let's see if I have that. So I may not need to see this so. It's two oh six. Okay. So that's good. All right. So what if I say two? What if I say two? see what it do. I pull back that. Yep. Okay. We straight. Okay. Alright. So that's good. Alright. So we're able to see the information. Right. So we only want to see only the record. And I want, I'm going to lock this so we don't have to really so when I say click details, it it's going to, I want it to, um, based on this record, all right, it's going to pull information into a subsequent table, right, which is the same information, say, the same information is in this form, all right, 
and it's going to put it into um, this table. The training project is done. This is all the record. Uh, So um, it's going to go into this table here. All right. So I'm look at the form just to make sure that it's doing what I want it to do. Because once I push that details button, it's going to give me the other part, right? And it's going to load that table okay you understand so assuming that this is the information I want to see okay all right um, go ahead back okay so I'm looking at this form here and I'm gonna take this button okay, and put this button down here Says this all this right here. I don't think it's all this. Well, I'm gonna leave it alone, okay? Because when it runs it back, it's gonna, you know, show me all this information. It's even though it's looking down. Um, I can say. say form let's say I want to run it I, I want to see a form on this right that's this so I'm going to see what it looks like when I do that so save I might change it back form so go back open this up look at this okay it's still the same So it can't be a four. Nope. This can't be a four. Uh, format. Oh. Even though it's a sub form, it can't be a four. Okay, it's visible. Link to ID, background. I'm not really worried about that. Um, this right here, I can name anything I want. Um, um, I can say custom research details for the research audit form details. Uh, on the form, I can say copy. Say so I can name it. I can name this form anything I want. It don't have to be named by the I think details. We'll see, huh? Here and save it. Run and see if it comes back. But I want to make sure this. See, because I did this and I. Data sheet. Uh, view. It's a data sheet. Um, I did say a single form. If I say single form, what would it look like if I said single form? Form view. Oh, okay. Alright, that's good. Cool. up I make a look at it like this All right okay now let's see what's bringing in so I can look at it like this okay I think that'd probably be better than doing it the other way All right 
so we can just scroll down instead of going across. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and go back to this. I'm saying go back to this. Uh, go to form view. Form view. Go to design view. All right, so we go back to here. I did it show the name. Design view, go back down here. Okay, and what we want to do here, bring this up a little bit. Okay. Uh, okay, and I want to change. this to be this long anymore. So update day I'm gonna bring it oh shoot. Um, what did I do? What did I do? Okay, that was something. That was something else. Okay.
consistent with everything else. Okay, feel about my is that is it darker? Okay. Alright, so okay. This this um Um, of course, I want all this stuff to be locked. All this is going to be locked. You know, I ain't going to change nothing. Okay, so all this information here. Okay, it's going to be all the left, small, visible. Yes, I want the data um, locked. Yes, it's enabled. But it's locked, you can't change. Enabled. Oh, enable, say. Enable, no. I don't know. I look at it. Enable, no. Okay, save. Say, look at the form. Okay, so you can't even change it, right? So that's good. So you're going to look at it, but you can't change nothing can't change you don't even look at it which is cool right that's good I like that so uh, I'm just going to stretch these columns out a little bit more stretch them out um, so they be more consistent to what um, we want to see so uh, this one this one this one this one and all I'm going to do is move them down this oh, it took all of them at the same time. So down. Come on, man. What's going on here? Alright, so ID. Okay. And um
see exactly what we want alright and when I click this button here it will go more into the expenses okay so uh, it will show more information details about what's going on we'll look at that later alright okay so um, of course uh, these are record indicators and so like that you know um, this right here is tied into this table so when I do this click the search button it will update this okay I see and I, should, and I can say it's not enabled I can't look at any information which is good okay um, and if like I say this um, once we decide this is a record we want to audit we can view we can push the record details and then it goes into the aspects of it where um, we can lock the record and find out more about this client okay and then we go off into the budget part you know depending on what's happening okay we can look at this and say okay um, um what's going on this is a, a project total cost well I'm not worried about that I can pull that out a little later okay just, just a sample of what I'm doing and they can determine how they want to work it okay so project cost um you know, what the start date was and the create dates and there's no end date and that's when you want to say okay you've been working you work with us since 2019 okay so what's going on why are we still working with this project okay what's going on with it we're gonna be able to look at it right when we say view details it's gonna go into more details of what's going on it's not necessary that we do that on a on like on accounting aspect of it because of the fact that when you start looking at certain things or facets of uh, a record and the people that you're communicating with 
um, don't have the information that you need uh, you need to start realizing the fact that okay well what do I need to see okay prior to me um, opening up this record okay and again you know it's all about um, It's all about, um, again, like I said, it's all about what you want to see. And um, once you realize what you want to see, then you can go from there. Okay. All right. So this is about the end of this particular um, phase. And uh, anything else, any subsequent information that we may gather based on this? We are going to more detail to that at a later time, okay? Um, but for right now, it seems like we are on a good road. Um, we basically have all the information we need dealing with this client. Um, and if we want to do more research based on what we already have, we can do that just by uh, clicking buttons, okay? You know, gathering more information, trying to figure out exactly what we need, um, how this information will impact the customer, um, if it does impact the customer. Um, let's see here. Yeah, if it does impact the customer, it doesn't in impact the you know the customers. No problem as well. You know you can't do nothing. You can't do anything more than um, what you can. Okay because of the fact that um, because if you're searching for something and the information you're searching for is like uh, and the reason why I'm, I'm kind of like moving this around because sometimes when you work with okay let me get all this together sometimes when you're working with uh, forms about that you know you want the person to be able to the, you know the eyes to glance from one side to the other you don't you just don't want them just to be um, looking at something and they really don't know what they are trying to view on the um, on the level of um, I want to make this a little dark I think uh, da, 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 da. okay that's cool so I'm just trying to break this stuff down, okay? Like I said again, just a, a sample, right? And I got to do a lot more other stuff, like you know, I got to do more modifications and like you know, uh, you know, make it look more user friendly and stuff like that, you know. But again, the only people's gonna be, you know, I worked in places where, you know, seriously, the 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 way they design their forms, man, it's incredible and. And I knew I could do a better job in that, but you know, uh, those assignments I was not the forerunner of the whole system. Whoever wanted it, um, it was good enough for them. But on my level, I was thinking like, you know what, I could have done better, you know, it, you know. And that's the bottom line. So I could have done better than that. So um, another thing I had to figure about is that uh, project set number all right so the project set number there's no project set number here which you know I, I look into that as well like I found out why that project set that probably because of the fact that we weren't working on this particular project we stopped working at it okay so that means that the uh, the customer wasn't built all right so that was that mean all right, so again, thank you very much, and um, stay tuned for the next portion.